Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. Some very beneficial rains across the area. Now, as we continue to move through the year and head towards May, we start to see the temperature warming, obviously. Our earliest 90 degree day that we've ever seen occurred on February 24th, 1906. On average, it's June the 2nd, and the latest that this has ever occurred was June 14th, 1935. Why am I saying and bringing this up? Because I think we're going to be pretty close to it first few days of May. You'll see that on the 10-day uh, forecast in just a minute. As far as the allergy index, everything continues to decrease across the area. That's some good news, but still tree pollen at high levels uh, this afternoon again because of oak. Otherwise, cold front moving out in the Gulf of Mexico, extensive cloud cover and showers are expected this evening but they will be ramping down. This is all due to an upper level disturbance in associated trough. Then as we head towards midweek, we'll see more of a ridge over the area. So that uh, pretty much uh, ice, ices it as far as us not seeing any rain the rest of this week. Now, as we go on into the weekend, maybe Sunday and again on Monday, a couple disturbances move on in. That may be enough to spark off a scattering of showers and storms in our forecast. So this evening, you can see scattered light rain winding down across the area. Temperature is going to cool off pretty nicely tonight. And I think we can see the 60s are certainly possible up in the lakes area by daybreak and into the low to mid 60s in the triangle. So we'll start the day off on a cloudy note. And then as the afternoon progresses, look at that. Sunny skies return as temperatures rise into the mid to upper 70s. On the Gulf of Mexico, choppy seas around 2 to 4 feet in your coastal marine forecast. We'll see a breezy northeast wind at 15 to 25 knots. Water temperature 76. You get a high tide tomorrow afternoon at Sabine Pass at 2.13 p.m. So go with a 50 to 70 percent coverage of evening showers. No severe, no heavy expected this evening. These showers will gradually taper off by mid-evening. And uh, we could wind up with uh, cloudy skies, temperatures possibly as cool as the upper 50s in the lakes and in the mid 60s in the triangle with the northeast wind. So tomorrow, kind of a tricky forecast. We expect clouds in the morning. Then we'll clear it out in the lakes area and you'll pop up to 75. In the triangle, not as clear cut. We'll go with decreasing afternoon cloudiness. Maybe we get a surprise and we see the sunset. That's certainly possible. Otherwise, much lower humidity headed into our area. So Tuesday, not a bad afternoon. Then Wednesday and Thursday mornings, hey, it's going to be chilly with temperatures dropping into the 50s. Could be into the lower 50s in the lakes Wednesday morning. So jackets in the morning and then in the afternoon. Yeah, it's going to be hard dressing the kids. We'll see highs in the uh, lower 80s coming up Wednesday and Thursday with abundant sunshine. Friday is our transition day. A windy south wind off the Gulf of Mexico will drag that Gulf moisture back on in and that will open the door to a warm, humid weekend. So that one disturbance right now, I only can go with a 20, maybe 30 percent coverage of uh, showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. Then as we head towards Monday, a little stronger disturbance at this point, 30, maybe 40 percent coverage. Look at those highs creeping on up. But again, you see those lows around 70, you know you're going to be using air conditioning. Then as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday a week out, going to get close to 90 degrees, may do it. And then a scattering of showers and storms possible Thursday a week. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.